Hi hey everyone, uh, this is Kathy of the Stunty DM. This is a family module review video. Uh, this is going to be one on a uh, simple calendar. So let me pull that up and I'll show you configuration. Uh, so simple calendar, what we're going to do is we're going to go through the settings and I'll show you in action. So simple calendar is a module that has now been tied into a lot of different functionality. A lot of modules feed into simple calendar now, um, making it really useful. Uh, so I've showed you a video recently on um, the, uh, small time, yeah, small time, and that kind of brings that functionality in. So simple calendar literally allows you to define your wall calendar apply. So there are predefined ones. You see here the ones already set in here. So you got the Gregorian, which is obviously ours, uh, Dark Sun, Eberron, Alexandria, Alfred Lands, uh, Sponsor Pathfinder, Greyhawk, Warhammer. Uh, you can just pull those in and it'll automatically do that. Um, now, usually I go with Mix, um, so update the whole game time or follow updates made from other modules. Uh, you can go to third party, I do. So this is how you determine how the world time interacts with other things. So I go mixed. So it allows updates from other modules kind of be pulled into things. See so this is some formatting tokens used. So yeah, you can, you can show here, you can decide how you want your years. So it um, shows you how it all like formats down, explain that to you. It's quite straightforward for the most part. And then the um, format here at the moment is the American version, which I don't really want. So we go with TD. Yep, capital. Yep. So what this will do, this will set it so it goes date, month, year. Uh, hour, minute, seconds. Makes sense. Um, month, year, month, year. And then you can see here you can set it so that what access people have. So you cheat by default, GM gets access to everything. Then uh, you can export this. So if you want to use this setting in another game, you can do. Um, and you can import these. So uh, about time is a module I use, um, and it connects to uh, Simple Calendar. Uh, Simple Calendar. The other function is it controls the time uh, for us and this brings that in. We're about to top now. Uh, notes. So notes allow you to add certain things uh, onto the calendar itself. Uh, I'll show you that in a second. But um, you go set default. So what this is whenever I can add a note to a date on a calendar and it will do, um, it will record it and players can see it. You have different count, uh, categories, so if you have like, holidays, special events, things like that, you can set those categories, which is quite nice. For year setting, your current year, if there's a prefix to it, um, the way your names work, you can add seasons, it's not something I've done, but you can do seasons to say what the season is, when sunset is, uh, during the season this, you can colorize it and what date that all begins on. Uh, your months. Now I have uh, my game set in um, Curse of Strad. I found this one online. It may not be absolutely correct, but it's different and I liked it. So these are the months going from beginning of the year to end of the year. You can see they're similar in many ways to ours, just different names. Uh, the number of days, um, I don't really, so I don't know what interstellar is, but uh, which ones, and yeah, you can say it's over, like, abbreviate certain things, and say what day of the week it's on, stuff like that. Uh, weekdays, again, I set these, these are set, taken to out as well, I like the names of them, so. Moon day, toil day, wheel day, earth day, fire day, star day, and sunday. I think these are taken from um, Pathfinder. I can't remember. 
But I liked these ones as being Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, you can set it so the leap year. So if you want leap year settings, you can put that in there. So you got the time settings here. You can set how many days in, how many hours in a day, minutes, an hour, and so forth. Uh, the clock settings, you can click show clock. Uh, and then you can set here, so game seconds per real life seconds. Now, literally as this is here, uh, for every second that passes in our time, also passes in game time. Uh, now with combat, that stops. So the moment you trigger a combat, um, Simple Calendar will stop the game time, allowing you to just deal with it as per normal. And as soon as combat ends, it will restart it again. Uh, from that point. I don't know if it takes consideration of the time passed during that combat. I've not noticed that uh, to a degree, but it's there. And you can see there, so if you pause the game, it'll also stop the timer. So you'd have to go and find the timer separately to stop it. All nice little features. And then you can set moons. So you can set on um, a <coughs> uh, new moon, and uh, yeah, I just kind of mess around with this and, <coughs> excuse me, you can set the type of moon, uh, when and going through. It's kind of it. I'm going to start setting. So what I'll do is I'll show you now. So you can see here, it is an option that's a calendar. Pop it open and here's your calendar. This is what you get. Uh, so you can see there's any notes on here. There's no notes for this day. However, uh, if I went to this day, you can see that I put a note on there to say it's a full moon. And you can see the little icon on these days showing when the moon. Uh, so, I also said a new moon, first quarter, full moon, waxing gibbous. And this is your time console here. Also, you can pause and stop time. Pause it. Um, same as usual. So yeah, let's click pause. Pause it again. So I click go. It'll un unpause it and use it always. Um, move time forwards, backwards, etc. Again, now uh, advance it quickly to dusk, midnight, midday, and dawn. Or skip the days. Actually, want to skip forward, like fast forward. What you also have this compact option. So what it does is it does this for you. So you can put this in like the corner and keep an eye on it, which I usually have for my games. So I can see the date, um, the features here. I can see, and I'll see this is also tied into here. So you can see the most batch. So if I skipped for an hour, small time, do this does the same. Um, full again, like so. Let me show you notes. So I've got a note here. So this is set as a, a set as a reminder. Uh, it's visible to everyone. Uh, who's posted it, and what day it's posted for, and what the note is. He's got something to do, click on the date, click add new note, and I'll add it. And like I said, you can specify if this is going to be a GM thing, you can say players don't see it. Or do you do? You can set it that uh, it is. So let me just let's set a new note here. Let's go. I can set the repeat, so it's visible. You can select a category, as you saw previously, we have these categories. And they go remind me. To get a reminder and then save the note. Now let's go back here, let's close this and let's see what happens if we advance to the next day. Now I've got a note pop up into the chat from Simple Calendar Reminder. So as a DM, I can see that pop up and go, oh, yeah, that's popped up. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it. It is a like I said, it's now bound to a lot of different modules. Um, about time use it, simple, um, sorry, 
Okay, um, uh, Small Time uses it. There's a couple of others. I can't remember them off the top of my head, but I know they all, um, all the, um, well, it used to be Calendar Weather, which is now it's called, it's called Weather. That's also bound to it. Um, so yeah, you can see that it has an impact. It's really useful to keep track of things. If you care about this, it might not be something you care about in the slightest. I quite like it. It allows me to keep accurate time and also make in-game notes. So I don't have to have a separate uh, like calendar built elsewhere. I just have one in the game. I can go in and go, okay, in a month's time. It's something that if a player say, okay, we're going to come back in a month. I can set a reminder in a month to say, okay, well, look at me in a couple of days say so they're going to go back to this point as for like a GM's perspective this is what's discussed so I'm not going to forget and I can go okay well okay let's discuss this on this point okay here's what's happened here that sort of thing or I can set reminders to myself to say um, they're off doing an adventure of some form okay what does this mean for this place I can set reminders to say in a week's time Think about what's happened to Blackie or to wherever and advanced time scales. Um, but yeah, it's a nice little feature. I think it's really useful. I'd highly recommend it. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you found it useful. Uh, please drop me a comment if there's anything you want to discuss. Um, anything you want me to go over um, or anything like that. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.